Hello, 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 everybody. Good morning. Welcome on back to the Cool Cat Gang channel and welcome back to the 70 Star Pro League. My name is Anime and I am here with Pat the Sea Milk. Pat, how are you doing today? I am doing great. Um, pretty tired though, for some reason. <laughs> Uh, you know, honestly, that's pretty understandable. I, uh, I know in my neck of the woods, it's, it's, it's been, like, staying really hot into the evening, so I have to stay up, like, an extra two or three hours until it gets to, like, a comfortable sleeping amount. It's really unfortunate. Oh, totally get that. But I have some coffee, so that's good. Let's go! Getting the, some good old bean milk. Of course. <laughs> All right, today's match is Zine versus Wilco, and we do happen to have both runners in the booth. Uh, Zine, how are we feeling today? Feeling good. How about you? I'm doing all right, you know? Not too bad. Pretty excited for some cool cat gang action here. It's going to be a very, very exciting match. Uh, Wilco, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing good, too. Epic. All right. Um, oh, Zion, it looks like you do still need to join the ra uh, the race time right, lobby. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but once you guys are in there, feel free to ready up. Make sure you guys are on the original game, either via cart or whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, and then once that timer hits zero, feel free to reset. Yo, Nick, that's actually, like, pretty quality emote. I didn't even know they had an elf emote. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right. Oh, uh, Wilco, I do need you to ready up in the race time. All right. If I ready up, the countdown is going to start, though. So is everyone ready? Or... Yeah, ready. yeah, we're all ready. All right. All right. Good luck, gamers. Good luck. Yeah. Well, good luck, Sion. Good luck. All right. You know, I think it's uh, it's always a pretty good morning, a pretty good day when you can start it out watching some Mario, whether it's on the Cool Cat Game channel or on the other, Mario. you know, runners that are out there. It is. It is one of the pretty. Pretty big speedrunning communities. Definitely is, for sure. Oh, it looks like my timer didn't start. Uh, that should be okay. We have our uh, we have our timer on screen. That'll get you. All right. But yeah, I don't have. I'm not gonna have any splits or anything. All right. No worries. Yeah, I think it's because I opened the race time in the browser instead of live split. Oh well. Technology, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Always works against us. Yeah, sometimes it works, and then other times it's like, nah, just kidding. Technology is a silly little guy. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I'm definitely expecting to see Island Hop from at least one of these racers, if not both. I know, um, I know Zion definitely usually goes for it. Sometimes I do see it from Wilco. Yeah, I don't oh. know if Wilco will go for it. Um, I was watching. Ooh. Wilco missing bomb flip. I was watching Wilco before and asked, and said he may or may not do it. So. Fair enough. Oh, it looks like Science actually opted to not go for it. You know, that's fair. You know, race settings are definitely different from PB attempts. That is for sure. Yeah. 
Ooh, and slide time guesses. Put them in. Put those slide guesses in. I'm going to say like uh, probably 12.7 for design. Maybe a 12.8. 12 12 eight. Twelve six is pretty good. Ah, there we seven. go. Oh, very nice, very nice. Runners keeping it close. I always love to see the good slide times. Hitting a twelve seven or twelve eight feels pretty good. I know. I know. I personally, I'm not quite good enough to get good slide times yet. I think my best is like a thirteen point one, and you know, oh, I'll, I'll take it. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, both runners now heading on into Wump's Fortress, one of the most technical stages in the game, no matter what category you're running, unless you're running zero or one star. But, you know, that's 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 a whole different beast on its own. Yeah, it's very reset heavy, for sure, as it's easy to make a lot of mistakes that can lose, like, heaps of time. All right. Wilco's going to be getting second try. Owlis, it's good. Owlis is one of those stars that I feel no matter how many times you practice it, it's still really easy to miss. And even when you do miss it, it's super easy to get just stuck in this constant loop of retrying and missing over and over again. It does not feel good for sure. Oh yeah, it can be very frustrating. Here we go, Wilco backing up Salt Kless with a good texture Kless. Very nice. Zynier just zooming through the 100 coins and lumps. Already grabbed the last red coin. Doing pretty good so far. Both runners are not really making it many mistakes. So, love to see that. And this race should be pretty interesting because of the PBs being very close. Yeah, that's that's something that I really like to see is um, it, it's really fascinating, especially once you get to these like lower and lower times in 70 star. Just being able to watch Mario at this high of a skill level is just always such a treat. Yeah, it's definitely great watching it. It's a different thing actually playing. A hundred percent. Oh no, Zyna having to miss Owlus twice now. One more time than Wilco, interestingly enough. Oh no! Yeah, that's sad. Owlus just a very, very tricky star sometimes. Oh! No, that was so oh, close, Sign. Oh no, the vicious cycle. I didn't want oh. to actually will it into existence. I'm sorry. That is, uh, you can definitely blame commentator for that one. There we go. A little, little bit of commentator's curse, but back on track now. Oh man. All right, we've got a couple more stars for each runner here. Looks like Wilco going to be grabbing the Womp King. Looking pretty good. Zion getting, uh, shooting to the wild blue out of the way. Yeah, one of the easiest stars in the game. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I, I find difficult. it really funny. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's very difficult to master, though. Yeah, there's there's like at least three or four different ways that you can wall jump up to that platform. It's kind of nuts. Yeah, what were you saying though? Um, I, I think it's pretty funny that I, I feel like on even on a casual playthrough, you'd see that star and go, "Oh man, like that looks pretty gettable. It's like right there." And yet, the the intended strat is uh, you're supposed to shoot at it with a cannon, hence it's called shoot into the wild blue. And just like, 
Why? That complicates it so much. You could literally just jump there from so many different spots. Oh yeah, definitely. It's really funny to me. I mean, it's definitely the same thing for, for Cannonless as well. Right, both runners are now out of Womp's Fortress. We'd love to see that. Yo, 12-6 from Wilco. Let's go. Another one. Insane. Two 12-6s in one race. Always, always good to see. Yeah, I think my like average time is like a 13, like 2. Nice. Oh, three 12 sixes. Three out of four slide times today are 12 six. Very, very nice. It's so satisfying to see. Ooh, missing the rollout. Dang. It's a little bit of time loss, but definitely not anything too. Um, cry over. Yeah, te text box skip, I do gotta say, it's a very, very fun little trick. I, I like how there's a couple of different ways to do that one as well. Each one, like, slightly more dangerous than the last. Definitely roll out being the most dangerous. Being and also the most satisfying. Oh yeah, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, we've got both runners now coming on into Dark World. One of the more tougher Bowser stages, especially when you pair it with red coins. Wilco nailing the first two coins very nicely, just getting them right out of the way. I'm gonna say, you know, looks like a nice uh, shig cycle there for Wilco. Just so bad at like telling what cycle is which, honestly. Big same. I can tell you exactly two cycles: Shig and Poverty Shig, and that's that's probably it. That's probably it. <laughs> Zion going for the safer strat. But, I mean, it is a race, so safe strats are always just comfy. Missing the Zion taking them. A little bit of a bonk after that first frame. It's always great right. seeing the runners so close together. I, I do very much enjoy a nice and close race here. Wilco leaving the Bowser fight as Zion hops into it. Very, very nice. And Wilco going back to B.O.B.? Time for Skybox Jump. Beautifully done. Very nice by Wilco. So clean. I do, you know, I do have to say it. Skybox Jump Star is pretty satisfying if you can nail it. Zion, Zion going, going for the single for... star strats. AO. Ooh. Nice. You love to see that. Bam. All right. We'll go heading on into the Cool Cat Mountain. Zion going to be not too far behind here. Oh, nice! Wilco gets the penguin drop. Let's go. Hitting the pingu trick. Here we go. Now that's something you don't see every day. Right, Zion 
setting up for the pro wall kicks will work. This time making it across. No invisible walls for either runner. Very, very nice. Very nice and very clean. Yeah, it's it, it's pretty nutty how far this game has come since like its initial release and honestly like even in like the past couple of years since I started commentating this game there's been like some slightly new discoveries there's been people going for more and more things and it's it's really cool to see the evolution of this game oh nice from Wilco there diving on in that was very very clean All right, both runners taking on the 100 coins here. It looks like we're going to be seeing CCM 17 from both runners. Wilco grabbing the perfect amount of coins to get off the slide here. Ooh, one too many and it would have been pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, also getting the ground pound for the star. Lovely. I, you know, I have to say that triple jump into the red coin at, with the ground pound into the star, just beautiful. Very cool to look at. So satisfying to see every time. Zion also having the proper amount of coins. Love to see it. All right, it looks like we've got both runners going to be heading into BBH here. We've got two stars to go in this stage. You know, thankfully, I know I know there are a lot of people out there. They don't they don't like Boo's big haunt. Maybe it's a, it's a little scary for them. But you know, please please don't people leave. Like it, it's only two stars. I promise. <laughs> just just close your eyes. It'll be okay. It's all good. Um, as mentioned, you can see there in the chat, if you do exclamation point 70 league, uh, you can check out the bracket for the 70 star pro league as well as contribute to the community funded prize pool. Ooh. The first place, second place and third place uh, will be getting a, a tiny little uh, a prize and most of the money, I believe actually all of the money even is coming from community donations. So thank you guys oh. so much. You guys are great. I think I was checking it the other day. It might be at like 400 or 500. And that's, that's pretty awesome. You know, SM64 community, super cool. Probably one of the better communities in speedrunning, for sure. Everybody seems like so willing to help out if they ask. Oh, yeah. All right, and just like that, both runners are now out of BBH and going to be in the basement or heading towards basement. Wilco, unfortunately, missing the punch grab there. Oh, oh I'm going to miss no. that dive. Nips is just missing. an incredibly oh. slippery rabbit. There we go. Ooh, Wilco, unfortunately, going to be losing quite a bit of time there. Thankfully, catching Mips in front of SSL, but, oh, man. Not the worst thing in the world, but definitely upsetting to see. Uzine getting the punch grab. It's gonna just right just right there on one star alone, that's gonna save Zine so much time. It's really nutty. Alright, first pillar list from Wilco. Successful. Wilco did not like the size of that bomb. 
going to back yeah, it up. Very to unfortunate. The pyramid. Yeah, going with a very nice and quick back up. Oh, sign. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Almost sliding it right off there. Would have been very unfortunate. We did see that happen in a race the other day. Someone just absolutely could not make their way and grab that star. Ooh, that not the best angle for Wilco, but it looks like he is going to still make it in. That would have been heartbreaking. Yeah, getting pillarless is... Uh... Already hard enough, but once the angler gets messed up there, it just, just makes it that much harder. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a very hard trick. All right, I believe this is the last star for Wilco, if I'm remembering correctly. Gets right on up there on Klepto. Some excellent height. Here we go. And we will be out of the shifting sand lands. Zion, having gained a little bit of time over Wilco Healer, is even closer, hot on Wilco's heels. Nice. Very good log list there from Wilco. Sign going to be going for pro lava boost here, and he is going to get Ooh. it. And Lovely. with the one pull skip. You know, LOL is a pretty fascinating stage. Like, you know, all the lava definitely makes it seem like it's a, you know, relatively formidable stage. You fall in that lava, you're going to take like three, three things of damage. And yet, it's actually incredibly fast to get all of the stars. Oh, yeah. For sure. Um, takes a lot of skill, though. If you if you don't know what you're doing, you can easily die, but these runners are definitely know what they're doing. A very clean bully kill there from Wilco. Here we go. Nope. A little bit of a break dance from Wilco. Give Mario just a, a, a small break. <laughs> Wilco opting for one of the other strats for Lava Boost. Will nail it, which is very nice. These runners just keeping it incredibly close to LLL. Barely a star apart. Oh! Wilco oh, having a little bit of trouble with the little bullies. Oh, I'm sorry. Zion. Excuse me. <laughs> sorry, my realize. bad. I... It's definitely been a while since I've done that. <laughs> happens to the best of us. Yeah, I'm, uh, I know I said it the other day. I'm certainly no professional, but I, I would like to pride myself on how long I have been doing it. <laughs> Beautiful. Very... Oh, go ahead. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you go ahead. You go ahead. I, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm definitely a talker sometimes when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> it's, it's all good. It's all good. That was a, uh, was a beautiful red coins there from Wilco. 
And both runners now going to be heading out to Dire Dire Docks. One of the more, uh, you know, I wish I could say it's a relatively soothing stage. You know, there's just the nice music playing in the background. You get to do some swimming. But I, I think it's the manta ray that d makes it not quite as soothing of a stage as it could be. The manta ray just sucks. Plane just sucks. Mm hmm. Programmers uh, just kind of half baked the hitboxes and they said, all right, it's passable. This is good enough. Th this will work, I guess. This this will work, I guess. Put put the game out. Come on. Great swimming there from Wilco. Able to hit the star after just one swim. It's very nice seeing. Um very top level runners playing on stages like this because it shows you how much time you can definitely save throughout the run yeah it's it, it's kind of it's kind of crazy not not only because of lag reductions but i remember someone saying that you can tell the difference between um a high level runner and like a standard maybe mid-level runner like purely based on swimming because swimming is actually way more precise than it looks. I mean, I think just Mario in general is just it looks way easier, and then you play it, and it's just way harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I definitely agree, especially with Mario 64. Oh no, Zine! Going for the front sub, not quite getting the speed that he wanted there. Gonna be resetting that up. As Wilco goes for the mana rays. Oh, oh, perfect five rings there from Wilco. You love to see that. And Zion getting the backup for left side. All right, we've got Wilco into Fire C. One of the more, um, I, I don't know which is more exciting of the red coins, red, uh, Fire C or Dark World. I feel like, I feel like Dark World's probably the most worrisome because there's so many places where you can just like die. But at the upper levels, the movement for red coins into Fire C is very satisfying. Oh yeah, definitely, and also like the cycles. You don't want to miss uh, like anything, or else the cycles just completely messed up. Very nice, an excellent quick fire see there from Wilco. Can we hop into that Bowser fight, Zine? Meanwhile, only a few red coins behind. Unfortunately, going to be grabbing that ledge. Oh, yeah. Not going to be getting early Ellie's. Can you still make it? Oh, he definitely can. Let's go. Oh, love to see that. Still able to get that first cycle. Oh, taking a couple of burns. Two burns. Sign careful. All right. Okay. Oh, We're good. My goodness. <laughs> you know, just got to keep everybody on their toes. Mm. All right. This race definitely still close. Still anybody's game. Wilco going to be heading upstairs now. Going to be taking on some more challenging stages. Heading up to Wet Dry World. I will say that um, Wet Dry World Hundred Coin is very um very fun to to just practice. 
Oh, I, I definitely agree. The movement in Wet Dry World for hundreds is super satisfying. Oh, we'll go. Mario there just not being kind. But yeah, breaking the boxes, collecting all the coins, the movement. I, I very much agree. It's quite the satisfying star. Zine is going to be joining in Wet Dry World now. Oh, Zine with a quick bonk into that box there. Just a little too much speed. Nice, getting that wall kick. I'm gonna go ahead and not grab that coin. I believe he's allowed to miss one more? Question mark? Ooh, missing the, uh, the ledge grab. Very nice. Very nice. We'll go going for the triple jump wall kick. Very nice. We'll be nailing that. And not into that elevator star. Beautiful. Wilco going to go ahead and pass on another triple jump wall kick, but we'll still have a very clean top of the town star here. Really trying to hold on to that one star lead. Does not want to give Zine any room to catch up. But Zine is directly on Wilco's heels. All right, what dry world now down for Wilco here. Going to be heading on to the next stage. Doing pretty well here. I think both runners, both runners have been really solid so far throughout the race. I've only seen like a few minor mistakes uh, in the incident with Mips, but like outside of that, these racers have been playing very well. Oh yeah, for sure. Almost on cue, Wilco getting a little bit of a bonk, <laughs> but it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> oh man, see Nick, that's what I'm talking about. They're, they're clean. It's been so clean, I completely forgot that both runners missed Owlus a few times. Definitely forgot. That was that was at least 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Wilco getting the clip. Was I going to be picking up a little bit of time there, grabbing the mountain clip on the fifth secret and having a very clean jump over to the star? Ooh, going for, for clockwise, Wilco is for piranha plants. I think that saves a slight amount of time. Ooh, does it? That's interesting. Pretty oh, sure it's the just cam sheet. But yeah. 
I've always just like gone that direction because that's what I see runners do. I'm like, all right, I guess I'll do that. <laughs> I haven't taken a look in a while for that star, but I'm pretty sure that's the reason why. That's pretty neat. You know, there's a lot of the, you know, there's a lot of these things, especially with Meyer 64, where you can just watch it and be like, oh, okay, that's the strat to do. Because I see other people doing it without ever like looking at the why but you know as mentioned before this game is actually like way more technical than it looks oh yeah definitely a very good first log wall bouncer from wilco gonna grab that um oh shoot i forgot the name breathtaking view from bridge the waterfall star <laughs> and Zine heading into TTM. This is uh one of the stages. Yo, fake sink. Nice. No, Zine. Oh, you hate to see it. Not quite getting enough distance from that wall kit. Gonna quickly back it up with the mushroom star. Ooh, both runners were synced up. Yo, love a good fake sync. Let's go. Delicious. Oh, it's so satisfying. Oh my gosh, what was it? There was... What was it? I don't remember if it was SMO or SM64. There was a race a few... Like, maybe a week or two ago where the runners were synced up for like... 30 seconds almost a minute it oh, was man. the craziest sync i think i've ever seen i know it was clipped that's it crazy was so satisfying i will say that ttm is one of my least favorite stages TTM is definitely a pretty complicated stage. There's a lot of movement that goes into it, like, and if you if you really want to go for the faster times, like, you definitely have to go for Mountain Clip. Oh yeah. And it, it it's one of those tricks that looks easy, and I mean, in theory, is pretty easy, but. It, it still can be really tricky. Both runners there going for bre eh, Breezeless. Zyn missing, but Wilco actually getting it and is going to be leaving with a pretty hefty lead. I think Zyn has to go for red still, so should take a little bit, but still pretty close. Let's go, Woka, with the very nice Snowman's Head star. That is another star that has, like, three different ways to do it. And each one, they look, it looks easy, except for the, like, single star strat. That one doesn't look easy, but it, it, that, it's a very tricky star. Oh, yeah, the single star strat is just insane. Wilco having a little bit of trouble there, but able to make it over the wall to grab the Frozen Pond Star. A little bit of time loss. Wilco going for the hardest star in the game. Woo! Thankfully, going to be nailing it first try. That's always good. <laughs> always good to see. Oh, looks like Zion having a little bit of trouble in the Frozen Pond Star as well. I think both runners are having a little bit of trouble there. It's very interesting to, to see. You know, I gotta say, like Pat, what would you what would you say is the most satisfying star? 
in some mm. star, either playing wise or looking. I will say I really do like chill with the bully. Um, the like the pro strat where you do like the double jump and then the ground pound. It just like it's very satisfying to see. That yeah, that's that's exactly what I was thinking. It's it's such a satisfying star to see. You bully the bully off the edge, and there's just enough knockback that you can perfectly jump your way under the star. And it's just, ooh, delicious. But if you miss it, it just, it, it <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Is not, it feels so bad. We'll go having a uh, successful talk with the toad. No toad violence here. I certainly do not condone toad violence. You can easily talk to toad by pushing A. You don't have to punch him. Please. Looks like Zion is almost caught, caught back up. Uh-oh. Wilco we'll missing go. the side jump. Yeah, I'm gonna just quickly back that up with emergency exit. Understandable does not want to get stuck in that loop. I, I think triple the triple box star jump is also a pretty easy star to get into a loop with. Oh yeah. It's it's very hard to also try and like to try and go for it again if you miss it. I've seen people do it. And I've seen a lot of people fail. It's, um, oh my gosh. I think, I remember a while back, I was practicing it. Because I was like, oh, that looks so cool. And it saves time. I got this. And I think I, I got it a few times. But then I just kept trying to do it and not working. And then I was like, all right, peace. I'll pick that up later when I need it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gonna see a nice seasonal miracle here from Wilco. Gonna be just high enough to hit that button as well. Absolutely nice. Oh, love to see it. No one Zion with the C up slide there. The movement up to the star, unfortunately. Getting the ledge grab. I don't I don't think I've seen that ledge grab in a while. Kind of funny. Always love to see a GTM slide. <laughs> Wilco getting a bad boulder RNG. Unfortunate. You know, those rolling rocks, sometimes they, they just don't play nice. Design gonna also be getting a nice seasonal miracle here. And Wilco gonna be heading out of the HMC and now up to two of the hardest stages in the game in Tippy, Rainbow Ride, and Tick Tock Clock. Definitely the stages of all time. I do find it funny now that I'm thinking about it. Not only do both stages share the same music, but it's also like the music that you probably don't want to have playing if you're on like PB pace or just a good time in general, you know? Oh yeah, definitely. Wilco gonna be a successful on that first lack it to bounce, very nice. Going for the wall jump strat. Let's go. Very smooth cruiser start for Wilco. Love to see that. I was about to say, Wilk, uh, Zion saving a little bit of time over Wilco, getting that uh, triple jump dive into the hole, but then he had a, he had a little bit of trouble getting into the actual stage. So, kind of... Unfortunately, kind of balanced itself out there. Ooh. Sign with a fall.
that's an I think that's the that's the hardest part about Rainbow Ride and TTC is not only is it incredibly easy to die, it's incredibly easy to fall and die. There is only void below both stages. Oh yeah, definitely. Zine missing the black two bounds going for the back of of uh, reds. Oh, Wilco. Yo, okay, hold up. Nice oh, little man. back, but back up. That was kind of cool. I mean, you, you don't see that every day. You definitely don't. I, I don't think I've even seen anybody back that up with the backflip. That's great. All right, come on, Zine. Let's get that lack of two bounce. Oh. <laughs> Zion just not having a good time with Lakitu today. Very unfortunate. He is running out of backups. He got a nice backup though with tricky triangles. All right, Wilco going to be starting at TTC at 100. One, what, 100? All right, okay. <laughs> My mouth decided to add some extra words there. I was thinking of, like, Prage for Zine to make sure the Like It Two Bounce worked, and it just kind of wormed its way into my mouth anyways. <laughs> it, Th you know thanks, Brain. <laughs> Yeah, it seemed like um, that movement to the switch from Woko, it seemed like very similar to that triple jump method that people have been implementing, but maybe a little safer. Oh, Woko! Oh. oh my goodness, Woko trying to back it up with the grab on that thing! It's, what is that, a platform? It's a platform. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woko, please! Mario, give the back. Ah, oh, this my is a God, problem. Mario, please. Mario, please. Oh, no, Zine is immediately oh. taking a lead just from that death. As we've been saying, the whole race, anything can happen, and it looks like the runners should be neck and neck now. Oh, no! Okay, man. I was hoping that jump would actually go through, but at least he didn't die. At yeah. least he didn't die. <laughs> Zion going for the safer strat to get to this I kind of like that switch movement from Wilco looking at it again. That's pretty cool. I've, I've seen a lot of um, stuff about it. Um, it's very interesting. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, that is some really bad corner oh. archie from side and he gets invisible! Oh, oh my, my gosh. god. You know, luckily he's not dying, but that is quite the fall. Oh my goodness. Going what is for happening? Some backups. What is happening in the stage today? Wilco also getting invisible. Oh, gets the dive back up. Thank goodness. You know, just TikTok clock is uh, not being kind to any of the runners today. What is it? What is it? People say game is fun, game is fair, something like that. Oh yeah, the game is fun, the game is fair, <laughs> all the time. Thankfully, Ooh. both runners okay. going to be oh, closing man. out the 100. Oh, my goodness. Wow, what a wild ride. 
Oh, Wilco cutting it really, really close there with the fast time, almost going in at random time. Yikes. Oh, let's go. Single jump strap from Wilco. Oh, man. Wilco just let's barely go. holding onto the lead. But it can be anyone's game, honestly. As we just saw, that 100. Ooh. Wilco going for the nice dive. Very satisfying to see that. Also hard to do. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. What is happening in this TTC? I genuinely can't tell if that was intentional or accidental. Thankfully, those two stars are close enough, but that could have been incredibly disastrous for Zyne. Oh yeah. It's it's definitely a good backup to, to know because um, it is very easy to just like get a like kick there. Oh my gosh, man, this, this TTC, it's, it's been smooth sailing, I would say, like, the entire race, except for now. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two stars left for both runners. It is neck and neck. Zion is oh. still just on the heels of Wilco. And Wilco just barely holding on to the lead. This is still anybody's game. It's nuts. You just you love to see races like this. I definitely don't blame any of the runners for going in time time stops for, for reds. Yeah, definitely the safest way to get those red coins. Especially with how this race has been going. Yeah, TTC just decided, you know what? This race has been too easy. Nice. <laughs> yeah, definitely, for sure. All right, it's all not, it's gonna come down to bits and Bowser throws here Wilco. Gonna be the first Mario to enter Bowser in the sky. But Zine is not too far behind. This, I'm on the edge of my seat, man. This is close. So interesting, I don't even think I can sit down for this. Wilco getting the Nice movement with the uh, elevator. Going for a oh. safe standing left. Going to be nailing it. Very, very good here for Wilco. I mean, in a PB setting, you'd be wanting to go for like moving and just like going, pulling out all the stops. But in a race like this, that's this close, you kind of just you want to go for all the safe strats. You want you want to be able to make it to the end. Oh yeah, for sure. Both runners now in the final. Bowser, that's going to be the one throw for Wilco. This is an insanely oh, close race. Two for Wilco. Two. One, for one for Zion. That will be three for three from Wilco oh. with Zion. Missing Let's go. that second throw after an incredibly tumultuous TTC. Wilco going to be coming out on top with a 51-21. Let's go. Oh, you love to see it. What an insane race. Wow. This race had a little bit of everything. Just a lot of um, also just heartbreaking moments as well. Yo.
Yep. Yo, welcome on into the booth, runners. Wilco Anzine. Wilco, congratulations on your win today. How you feeling, man? Ah, uh, thank you. I was pretty stressed out at the end when I died at the end of 100 coins in TTC. That, I, I cannot believe, honestly, what happened there. That was really nuts. You were... You were there. You were right there. And then the TikTok clock just decided, nah. Yeah, I was I was pretty stubborn because I could have just went up the easy way, but I did practice that back up if I fall down. So I just did it over and over again until I died. Yeah, you felt it. Uh, we, were, we were talking about it earlier. There's like a, there's a couple of stars that are like just really easy to like fall into a loop of just consistently going for it and keep missing it. And, yeah, that is unfortunately what happened to you there. Regardless, I T2C, I have to say TTC for both of you was like wild. It was incredibly it's wild. It's been it's been it's been bad recently. Yeah, I like the, the rest of the race fantastic. You guys get really good and then TTC came along and <laughs> just made the race so much closer. That was an yeah. invisible two on my part. Those three coins just completely coin spread awful, went away. And yeah, that was towards really them, bad. but an invisible wall blocked me. So I try to okay, I jump off and I get the box. I get I hold down left and I steer away, bro. Yeah, dude. TGC. I, I I didn't bonk against it, but I was against it. TGC is man, is it? It is definitely a stage for Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. It do, it do. Definitely. No, GG's regardless. Yeah, no, GG. GG's to both of y'all. It was a very good race. Thank you so much for coming on and make sure all of y'all out there go follow these racers. As you can see they are very, very good at the thing called Mario. <laughs> and uh you can follow the commentators as well. If you want, uh, we have some more Mario action happening next. I do believe it's uh, Super Mario Odyssey stuff. So thank you so much for watching some 70 Star Pro League. Uh, thank you for comms, Pat. And um, don't go away.